wait, what's a curl pattern? By the end of this video, I'm going to share with you not only how to find your curl pattern, but also give you some good insight on how to care for it properly. My name is Chandra Fall and I want to help you. For the best tips and tricks for wavy curly hair, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red button below and click the bell so that you'll get notified when I release a new video every week. If you're just starting your curly hair journey or you're transitioning or you're trying to recover from a lot of substantial heat damage and you're doing everything that you can to get your curls back, you really need to know your curl pattern. This is the starting point for proper hair care. And the reason is because different curl patterns have different basic needs for oil, for moisture, for protein, for hydration. And if you know what your curl type is, you're gonna be able to care for it properly. Feel free to share this video or comment below if you have some curl friends who really need this information in their life. So let's get started. There are really three categories of hair, two, three, and four. There is a category one hair, but that's just straight hair. If you used to have a head full of straight hair and now it's started to become more textured, we're just going to go ahead and call that category two, which is wavy hair. Now before we dive into the subcategories of each hair type, it's important we talk about sebum and porosity. Now as an engineer, you know I love talking about the science of hair care, and it's very important to understand these two basic principles to get the results that you're looking for and save yourself a lot of headaches when it comes to the worlds of product and curly hair. Now sebum is basically oil. You have glands called sebum glands in your scalp that produce oil. This oil has to travel down from your scalp into your hair and settle in there. The higher your curl type and your curl pattern, the more porous or higher porosity your hair is. That really means your hair is super thirsty. The curlier your hair is, the thirstier your hair is. And once you understand that, you can really start to see why the different curl patterns have different needs for product. And it all has to do with the porosity and the amount of sebum that your hair strands can receive from your scalp. That means that the oil that you're producing at your scalp has a harder and harder time getting further down because it's absorbed almost instantly. Now comment below if you have ever experienced that your hair has been super, super oily at the roots and then really, really dry along the hair shaft. Because if that is you, comment below so that I can connect with you. There is absolutely something that we can do to fix that and balance it out so that your oil that you're producing is able to be delivered to the hair shaft, okay? Okay, so let's take a closer look at each hair type and their subcategories. Wavy hair is type two hair. Wavy hair lies somewhere between straight hair and curly hair. The further down the wavy spectrum you go, the less sheen your hair is going to have. Wavy hair is also typically more prone to frizz. And while type A wavies can easily alternate between straight hair and curly styles, type B and C wavy hair is going to be more resistant to styling. Okay, now because wavy hair is more prone to frizz, it's really important that you're using something that's going to moisturize it after you condition and that you're using something that's not going to weigh it down. Okay, and I want to put this out there that in my description, I have a hair quiz that you can take if you would like to take all the guesswork out of finding the products that are right for your hair. The good news is if you have wavy hair and you want to learn how to rock some beach waves, it's going to be very, very easy for you. And there are a lot of options for sleeping on your hair that helps to lengthen out the dry time while giving your hair a little bit more curl so that you can define that curl pattern, clarify that curl pattern, and really bring out the waves instead of the frizz. If you want tips on how to do that, check out my video for sleep styling your way to great hair. I think you will love it. Type 3 hair is curly hair. No two ways about it. If you pull out a strand of type 3 curly hair, you're going to notice it has a definite S shape. Now when you go between A, B, and C, I like to think of going from a capital S to a lowercase s to a Z as the curl pattern gets tighter and tighter. You're not going to get a definite curl pattern in place unless you're using the right products for your hair. This type 3 hair product is probably the most temperamental hair type to work with. If you have too much styling product in your hair, you're going to have flat, limp locks. Not enough styling product, and you're going to have like Diana Ross size 80s afro going on. 
So it's really important to find a good balance of products that will provide your hair with the moisture it needs to be shiny and healthy and the protein it needs to keep it from breaking while not weighing the hair down. Even with the right product, technique is hands down the most important for this category of hair type. The way that you apply the products makes a world of difference in getting the results that you are looking for. Check out these videos for great tips on how you can apply the products that you want for this curl type to get the results that you're looking for. Hey, type 4 hair. This is very, very tightly coiled or kinky hair pattern. Now, despite many misconceptions, this tightly coiled hair is actually quite fine and fragile. Okay, it's wiry, it's delicate by nature. Each strand usually has a zigzag pattern and this is the driest hair type, okay? Because it's the driest hair type, it's more prone to breakage and requires a gentle touch. There's a misconception that this hair type does not grow. It grows at the same rate as other hair texture, but if it's not treated properly, it breaks way more easier than other hair textures. You need to treat this hair type like a fine silk blouse. You need to cleanse it gently, you need to detangle softly, and you need to avoid harsh chemicals at all costs. Now because this hair type is kinky and dry by nature and it breaks easily, you have to add moisture every day. Dry hair breaks, moisturized hair does not. You're going to need to use a creamy sulfate-free moisturizer. You're going to need that for cleansing. You're going to need a highly moisturizing conditioner, you are definitely going to need a mask in your routine, especially on wash day, and you're going to be having to apply conditioners and oils every day to make sure that this hair type gets moisturized. It is the highest porosity hair type out there. It is very, very thirsty. Girls, I hope you found this information helpful. I hope you know as you start this curly hair journey that you are not alone and there are a lot of people who want you to be successful. If you found this helpful, please like and comment below with what was most useful and share this video with any other curl friends who you think need this information. The good news is I have a link below to my favorite products that apply hydration and moisture in the same step in an easy to use spray on leave-in application that works all the way from type 1 straight hair to type 4C curly hair. And please remember to subscribe to my channel by hitting the button below so that you can stay up to date when I post new videos every week. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Take care.